Hi there, this is Galen Martling. Today I'm showcasing Unity Stamp Company. I have stamps and I also have deco foil and toner card fronts that I'm working with. I'm going to show two ways to use a sheet of foil and also the negative of it. So for the stamping, I have Butterfly and a Bear. It's that little panda bear. It's really sweet and the sentiment in it. I also have Timeless Moments. It's a Mother's Day sentiment. I have deco foil toner card front that I'm using in Majestic Moths. I'm using one card front to get both of these, uh, both of these designs. It's beautiful. And so I'm using uh, the Majestic Moths on both of the cards. And so I am have pre-trimmed the sentiment on one of them and had it had it ready to go. I'm using Deco Foil by iCraft and I am using Amethyst Watercolor and Gold Shattered Glass for the foils. So I'm using an original Misty and my favorite things. Uh, intense black ink to stamp the panda bear and the sentiment. So I go ahead and and do two or three passes with the ink on that with the misty. So I just stamped where it would fit in my small circle die cut there and uh, so I stamped it in a small scallop shape. It's real sweet. I'm just going to use this as an accent after I finished foiling. And so I'm using three Copic markers for the butterflies, all of the butterflies. So I'm using a darker shade of orange, a medium, and a light shade. I'm speeding this up because most of the, what I want to focus on is the foiling for today. But I want to also show that you can use Copics and your other markers uh, to color these up, if you don't want to foil, you can just color these sheets. And uh, what's great about it is you don't really have to stamp. It's already sort of outlined there, ready to color with whatever you like. Watercolor, if it's very little water, and also any markers that you like. I'm using Copics and it works perfectly. Now, I'm also going to foil over the colored parts of these moths actually they're moths and so the foil will also will still foil even if you add color it's wonderful it's so beautiful right now I'm using shattered glass for the first layer now I'm told to go ahead and place the foil perpendicular to where the fold is where it's going to enter the laminator so this is going to be with laminator heat uh, for this foiling process, there's other ways you can foil, but for this process, the toner is already part of that toner card front. So we just need to add the foil between parchment paper and run it through a hot laminator, preheated laminator. So here's the sandwich. This is the finished foiling. I take it out of the parchment and I peel away that gold that gold foiled sheet there. And you see the coloring is still there on the moths. And I'm gonna use this as a negative later on. You'll see, but for right now, look how pretty that is. You still see the Copic coloring and um, the where the black was on the butterfly or the moth, it's now foiled beautifully. Now I am lining up a black toner sheet that's also by Deco Foil iCraft. That toner sheet is going to pick up that negative gold that wasn't picked up the first time with the butterflies. So you see there is the toner sheet. You see black going through it because that background is going, the butterflies or the moths are gonna be black um, on this next pass in the laminator. So this is the second pass using a deco foil sheet with that negative. And then when you take it out, you see all of that negative in that rectangle was transferred onto that deco foil toner sheet, which is black. Now, if you wanna keep the butterflies black, that works fine, you could stop there. I'm going to make a third pass and I'm gonna put this amethyst watercolor sheet over top of the same panel here and I am going to feed that through the hot laminator again, and it's going to transfer that purple color, that amethyst color, right over where the butterflies or the moths were black. And you're gonna have gold 
and purple for this this particular um, panel. You see there's another negative you can use later. And so for now I have two card fronts that are foiled. One is just in gold moss and the other one is the gold negative background and then with purple moths. And so I'm going to make two cards here and one of them is going to be with the panda and the other one is going to be a Mother's Day card. And all I did was just choose different sentiments and images and die cut them out just to accent the foiling. But it's not necessary. You can just use the foiling as is. But I wanted to just go ahead and make cute little cards. It's so easy. I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Like and share. Have a great day.